Yeah, I don't need to perm. I have good hair, plus I just... Good hair, what's good hair? What is good hair? What is good hair? I got good hair, right? <laughs> what's up, Harlem? We're here on 129th and Lenox at TriStar Barbershop. This is my barber, Steph. Say what's up, Steph. If you guys have seen that new film by Chris Rock, Good Hair, this barbershop was featured in it. And we're going to talk today with Terry, the owner of this shop, who you recognize from the film, and get his thoughts on it. What's your definition of good hair? Somebody looks relaxed and nice. If your hair is relaxed, white people are relaxed. If your hair is nappy, they're not happy. Oh, God. This October, Chris Rock will take you back to your roots. You're all natural. That's all your hair. Show us. Show us. Show us that ponytail. Pull that ponytail right out your head. Give me that ponytail. Shut up. Well, I guess you can't fool a barber. And thanks to Chris Rock's new film, I too know how to spot a hairpiece and a weave. TriStar owner Terry is in the film, chiming in on the relationship between a man, a woman, and her weave. How did you get into a Chris Rock movie? Well, this producer was on the field, I guess, looking for historical looking barbershops, uh, shops that, you know, look like they can hold some conversations. They told me it was going on HBO, so I kind of figured it was going to be like a documentary. The black hair business is a $9 billion business. One of these can run you $5,000. Well, it is a documentary, but with Chris Rock's stand-up comedy talents poking fun of and uncovering the secrets around a black woman's hair. Touch my weave. Yeah. Does your wife let you touch her hair? The question is, do I let her touch mine? Relax is the chemical that will take a black woman's hair from this and change it into this. The chemical that's in that relaxer that they use, you know, I didn't know, you know, the, the damage that it can do. That it can actually make this thing disappear, that chemical. You know, so when them girls put it on their big heads like the young lady right there. See that young lady? Yeah, that's right there. See that head? It can make the whole head disappear. This whole side was yes. burnt off, and that's how the asymmetrical look came in with Salt Pepper. What's your name, sir? Michael Rock. Michael Rock. Yeah. And you're Chris Rock's cousin, basically like grandfather, like great grandfather and brothers. And so how do you feel being in the spot that Chris Rock chose and repre representing Harlem in his new flick? I feel good because you know I have to be in the neighborhood barber shop, you know, that I go to every week, you know. Just to see everybody that that I normally see to be in a picture. You know, feels pretty good. So what's in your hair now? This is a weave. This is a weave. Two pieces here, you know, like extensions. Like like that. Put some gel on it, brush it, throw my piece on it, go. After a few more laughs, my cut was done and everyone in the shop decided that we all have good hair. Ain't that? Oh, and Terry had just one more thing he wanted to get off his chest. Well, you know, it was a segment in that film when it was discussing, you know, the black man's preference of white women over black women. I don't prefer no white women. I just want y'all to know that. I love my sisters. No matter how their hair is, pinned up, bald, you know, straight, blown out, anything. Take it. <laughs> All right. All right. Yo, cause they made me look like, yo, like I was like saying that I prefer white women. Yeah. And I clearly said it on the film, yo, I don't prefer white women. No, I think it's a guy in the chair that yeah. made it a little bit. I don't prefer no yeah. white women at all. 